Oh, hello. Good morning. And it's time for today's message from the morning man. It's called Doves. Now, I spent a lot of time last night thinking about the things that divide us as a people. For Ghanaians, it's not race, it's not gender, it's not religion or complexion or age or even sexual orientation. No, it's politics. We're all living in a country where people die for no other reason than a lack of hospital beds, but we fight each other over it because of politics. The city is losing equal value in all our pockets every day, but we manage to disagree over it because of politics. The rain comes and washes away our loved ones, regardless of which party they supported. But instead of seeking solutions together, we're still arguing about it because of politics. When the cancer spiked Galamse water is piped into our homes, we drink it in NDC houses as well as NPP houses. Yet here we are, yelling at each other and losing our voices over it all because of politics. Now, this is against the natural order of things because if anything should bring us together, it's our challenges. If there are any positive byproducts to be gained from hardship, then they should be experience, creativity, and unity. Let me tell you a story. One day, a flock of doves were flying around in search of food. Now, one of them spotted some crumbs on the ground and eagerly flew down to peck at them. Now, all the other doves followed suit and settled down to enjoy the unexpected free lunch. Suddenly, the hunter popped out from behind a bush and threw a net over the unsuspecting birds. Stunned by the ambush, the birds froze for a moment. Then they noticed that the hunter had picked up a great big menacing looking stick to club them to death with. Now, immediately, they started to panic, hopping around, chirping in a frenzy, each one moving in a different direction, all the while getting themselves more and more tangled in the net. Suddenly, the smallest bird in the middle of the flock screamed at the top of his voice, Stop! All the birds froze. The little bird continued. He said, Friends, who are we? They all chirped in unison, We are doves. And what do doves do best? After a moment of hesitation, the bevy chorused together, we fly. Now at this point, the hunter and his club were meters away and an ugly death was imminent for them all. Now with steel in his voice, the little bird declared, on the count of three, let's each of us do what we do best. One, two, three, fly. And with one accord, the little birds flapped their wings and moved in one direction upwards. The hunter could do nothing but stare in bewilderment as the birds and his net flew off over the mountains, never to be seen again. My dear friends, there are so many lessons to be learned from this story. One, there is no such thing as a free lunch. Two, even when you're having fun, always keep your wits about you. Three, panic must not be your first reaction. Never is panic the correct reaction under any circumstances. Four, unique problems require a unique solution. So think outside the box. Five, sometimes the best ideas can come from the youngest amongst us. And six, this is the important one, nothing unites a group better than shared hardships. My fellow Ghanaians, our national problems affect us all. But as long as we keep moving in different directions, we will only get ourselves more and more entangled and the only thing we will achieve is chaos. So let's each of us put our strength, our talent, our experience, and our creativity into solving the many problems that threaten to trap us in terminal crises. But for the love of God, let's put aside the politics and let's point our best efforts in one direction, upwards. My name is Kojo Yangsen, and we're all in this net together. So on the count of three, let's do what we do best and fly. Good morning, Ghana folk.